Yo, another video for you today. Uh, this one uh, might help somebody who's having some problems with video editing files um, in DaVinci Resolve. So, what can happen? I'll get my DaVinci Resolve up. What can happen, for example, what I did is I was recording a game that was playing at 1440p, and that was Fortnite. Um, and I was recording at 1080p using the Xbox Windows 10 app. And when I came to edit it, the folder was uh, corrupted. So, I'll show you what happens. Here's my folder. Hang on. Let's just stick it on video edit. Drag him in. And you'll see here on the preview... You've got all this stuff going on down the bottom here. Um, yeah. So, I looked on the internet and the, the ways to resolve it was to go into the proxy settings over here. But I tried all that, didn't work. So, what I actually did was I loaded up another program that's free with Windows. You, you'll have to download it if you're... Um, on Windows 10, but it's built into Windows 11 called Clipchamp. So I'll just load that up. Create new video. Uh, import your media. So we'll go onto that video, which was that one. Now, this is going to take a little while to do this, um, but essentially what you'll do after you've imported the media, you'll, oh, here it is. So you drag it onto your timeline there. I personally don't like using this for editing. I don't think it's a great editor, but for solving this problem, you literally click export 1080p, and that's now exporting it. So that's done that. Obviously, I'm not going to do it because I've already done it and then when you come back to your DaVinci Resolve so let's get rid of this where are we remove clip actually probably the easiest thing what I like to do don't save let's open it all up again shouldn't take many seconds uh, untitled project import if it'll get there and what you'll see is I just saved it as untitled video made with clip champ but that's basically that same one change that get back to the edit page and you'll see now um, just turn the sound down a bit there. But there you go. Problem solved. So now I can go into it. I can do all my editing. And then when I'm finished, I can render it as normal. So hope that helps somebody out there who's having trouble with corrupted video files when they're trying to use them with DaVinci Resolve. But they play everywhere else. That's one way of sorting it out. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.